Hello and welcome to Friday's Aussie Tennis Results Update. The good news continues from Doha with Renee Stubbs and Lisa Raymond qualifying for the season-ending WTA Championships. The pair qualified third overall following the exits of rivals Lagostera Vaves and Maria Jose Martinez Sanchez from the China Open. Both Raymond and Stubbs are former world number one doubles players and jointly held the number one ranking for three weeks in the year 2000. Australia's domination of the Commonwealth Games continues with all six of our players reaching the semi-finals. Sally Piers and Anastasia Rodinova both perform strongly in their matches and will meet one another in the semis, while in the men's draw, Peter Luchak and Greg Jones will do battle for the right to contest the gold. The Aussies are guaranteed at least two medals in both events. In the doubles, Matt Ebden and Greg Jones are our first casualties of the games, losing a close two-set contest to their Indian opponents. The mixed doubles combo of Roddy Nova and Paul Hanley were more fortunate, however, fighting at a tough third set tiebreak and will be our first players through to a Commonwealth Games gold medal match. In upcoming finals and semi-finals matches, Australia will take up to 10 of the 18 places. Chris Guccione has continued his good form, taking out the top seed at a challenger event in Sacramento. Gucci only defeated his German opponent in straight sets and will join fellow Aussies John Milman and Mariko Matosovic in the quarterfinals. Naomi Cavaday's woes have continued on the Australian Pro Tour. She's been bundled out again in the second round. For the third time in her last four appearances, second seed Cavaday has been unceremoniously bundled out by unseeded opponents, just shy of making a quarterfinals appearance. No such surprises in the men's draw with all the seeds moving on to the next round. Over the weekend, for all the upcoming matches, keep an eye on tennis.com.au forward slash pro tour for the matches from the Port Pirie International. That's it for today and this week. We'll see you again on Monday with all the latest Aussie tennis results.